CSA 823.2 has two different methods for testing air content of plastic concrete. This training video deals with CSA 823.2-4C air content of plastic concrete by the pressure method. This test method is not suitable for determining the air content of concretes containing low density or other porous aggregates. In this training video, it is assumed that the slump of the concrete is greater than 40 millimeters and we will be using a measure equal to or smaller than 15 liters. The apparatus required is a measuring bowl, a cover assembly, a rubber or rawhide mallet with a weight of 0.6 plus or minus 0.3 kilograms, a steel tamping rod with a 16 plus or minus 1 millimeter diameter and a length of 450 to 600 millimeters, and a steel strike-off bar approximately 6 millimeters by 25 millimeters by 450 millimeters. First, we must obtain a representative sample per CSA 823.2-1C. Must fill the container in three equal layers rotting each layer 25 times, uniformly distributing the strokes across the entire surface area. Rod the bottom layer throughout its depth without forcibly striking the bottom of the measure. Rod the middle and top layers throughout their depth, penetrating 25 millimeters into the underlying layer. After rotting of each layer, tap the sides of the container smartly 10 or more times with a mallet until no large bubbles of air appear on the surface and voids left by the tamping rod are closed. After completion of the consolidation, strike off the surface with a strike off bar or tamping rod, taking great care to leave the measure smooth and level. If concrete density is to be determined, the strike off of the concrete shall be completed in accordance with CSA 823.2-6C. Clean all excess concrete from the exterior. Clean the flange of the bowl and inside the cover. Close the operating valve, open both pet cotton valves, clamp the cover to the base. Inject water into one of the pet cotton valves until water flowing from the other pet cotton is free of air bubbles. Jar and tap the side of the bowl while adding water to ensure all air is expelled. Pump air in until the pressure is slightly higher than the initial set point. Adjust the gauge to the initial set point by allowing air to escape through the air bleed valve while lightly tapping the pressure gauge. Close both pet cot valves. Note, CSA requires you to follow the manufacturer's instruction. Accordingly, the timing on closing the pet cocks may vary. Quickly open the main valve leading from the air chamber to the measuring bowl. When the air is released into the bowl, strike the bowl smartly with the mallet. Tap the gauge lightly after the gauge needle has come to a rest. Record the air to the closest 0.1%. This test must be completed within 10 minutes after obtaining the sample. This concludes testing the air content of concrete by the pressure method.